All right, you guys asked for a Kuzumbo yeah. game, and you're gonna get Time a Kuzumbo game. Yes. We've got Kuzumbo versus Vimana, so as long as I go a lot of anti heal, we should be fine. So they buffed Kuzumbo in so many ways. So first of all, they buffed his passive, so it lasts a lot longer. So he keeps that mitigation from his water bolt. You know, I never do anything he, uh, free. You're gonna owe me big time after this, you hear, pal? <laughs> Um, another thing is actually we're gonna rush uh, cooldown this game. We are gonna rush cooldown. And I'll start with the chalice actually. They buffed his three so that he can turn super super like on a dime. Like look how fast. You can do like a, almost a 360. It's insane the amount of control. That means that if somebody is right in front of your tower, you can use your three and then turn around and push him into the tower. Which you could kind of do before, but not as effectively. And the biggest and most important buff is that Kuzmo can now have multiple Nene's. So if you reset the cooldown with your two and you spawn another Nene, it won't kill the original Nene, which is what happened before. Before, if you threw a Nene and then threw another one, the original just would die. And it was very sad. But uh, but now that's not what happens. So good, good, good. Kuzumbo has one of the fastest clears in duel. Kind of surprising. Push him into minions. Now, uh, Vamana is super strong. Uh, if he gets late game with the Pain Train build, he might be in trouble. So we have to try and stop him from doing that. That's the goal. Actually, I don't think I can take this. If I take it, I'll take quite a bit of damage, and I'd rather keep lane pressure. Lane pressure right now is really good. Push him to minions. Reset the cooldowns. Alright, I'm... I will take these mids, though, because there's an easy triple bounce here. It's just a... It's just a straightforward triple bounce, just like that. Or double bounce, excuse me. Yeah, I have been playing quite a bit of the... of Kuzumbo, and he is so much fun with this buff. Like, there's been times where I just... One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And you get like four Nene's out. And you're pushing them through the wave constantly. And because you have so much control, you're actually doing damage with the, the push. So it, it's it's really good. Also, he uh he went back to base, so. And he actually has a little bit. Oh, I don't know those are double bounce. He has uh, more health and mana now. I got the Curse Donk, because if you don't have Curse Donk against Mamana, his ultimate is kind of OP. Okay. Interesting. It's like I could have used Curse Donk, but he's already kind of full health anyways. Did you salt kill? The guns, dude! The gun's too strong. I would stay for red buff, but uh, I don't have enough mana. It'll take a while to regen that mana. I'm just gonna rush Chronos Bennett. So once I get Crow's Pent, we'll have the maximum amount of cooldown you can get. Normally I would go Bancroft's Kuzumo, but I've been trying this build and it's been super fun because you get max cooldown extraordinarily fast. I don't think he's going straight for red, so we should be good to take our blue buff first. Also, I'm excited to record an audio game. I'll record an audio game for uh, the Guardian Gauntlet tomorrow. If you guys missed the last Guardian Gauntlet video, I recommend watching it. Um, oh, mistake on my end. Out of my way. Like, even there, I could push him into the minions, and they were, like, behind me. <laughs> Insane. The only thing about this build is, without lifesteal, uh, I can't stay as healthy, but I mean, if we're doing that much damage to him. Use that. Oh, I actually should not use my two because that'll extend the duration of his ultimate. The guns! I'm gonna end up killing him every single time with my guns. Okay, I'm actually gonna leave those minions to die to my tower. That way I have enough time to take this red buff. That's where I used to be able to get a triple or a double bounce here, but just like that. But I think they moved how the walls are or something like that. 
Oh wait, I can't pick it up. Okay, we're back. We're back in. Can I afford Chrome Spending yet? Not quite. I can upgrade Kerstock though. One of the few relics that's worth upgrading early game. Uh, if you're against Vamana, because it makes him take more damage. And most of the time with Vamana ult, he's diving objectives, so he's taking damage from objectives. And if you increase that objective damage, he actually dies pretty fast. Or if worst case, you need to fight him. You should almost never fight Vamana in his ult, but if you have to, only do it if you have first song applied. Otherwise, you will lose. I might start putting more points with my two as well, so we can get the, the main A resets. I have the guns ready. Push a tournament to minions or something? Yes! Oh, this kid's so good. I love it. I've killed him three times with the guns. I'm just gonna keep using my ult, man. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, let's put another point into our ult. Well, I guess my ult. My ult is actually doing tons of damage. Put a ward over here. These are two for the reset. Push him into the wave again. Oh, never mind. Now, I do have first stock on him, but we don't have anything that can actually fight him. Is he gonna? Yeah, he's gonna try to kill me. Alright. Get him, Nene. And now we have, once uh, Mage's Blessing is about to evolve, we're going to have so much cooldown. We're going to go from 10% cooldown to 40% to cooldown, which is kind of, kind of big. And then Chrono's kind of passive as well. Alright, put another point in my two. Like, the three does a lot of damage, but I want the Nene's. I want all the Nene's. I have only lost once with Kuzumbo since they buffed him, and that was because of a bug. There was a bug where my three was visually super, super, super weird, where it wouldn't turn me, and it, it was just, I just couldn't do anything really. But the bug has been reported. <gasps> the body blocks! The, the guns? The guns? <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. Four times to the guns. You know, the ult it's like the one thing about the kit that wasn't buffed was the, the ultimate, but it seems to be the the old reliable. Oh, I, don't, I should not be fight, trying to fight this. Run, who's in bow? Run for it. Run. Wait. Oh, no. It's going to ult. <laughs> Can you imagine if I ulted and killed him there with the guns? <laughs> All right. What I could do is I could try to go the double Sunder, essentially. So he would have 40% increased damage on him. But honestly, that kind of doesn't work against Vamana that well. No, you know what? Yeah, we are going to do that. We are going to do that. Okay, I do need defense, and a good defense item here would maybe be, well, something with power. So, tyrannical doesn't get that much defense. Maybe just a good old-fashioned Midgardian. Yeah, Midgardian doesn't help against Vamana ult, like if he goes hasten or anything like that, but it does lower his attack speed, which will lower his damage. Probably more than Mimian. Because if he's attacking slower, I'm taking less damage from his ult. And whenever his ult's down, it'll keep him off me. Because Vomana sticks very effectively. Ooh, we do a lot of damage. There's our red bomb. Sunder! The guns! Five times! How many times will the will the guns kill him? 
I did, how, how long is he there for? 15 seconds? All right, all right. We, I haven't really gotten that many multiple nanas yet, but you can see how, how if you're in a wave, you can get a lot. Pretty fast. Oh, he got blink. Oh, he got blink. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Mr. Krabs. He is definitely going haste and katana, so we'll see. I mean, I, I really don't get mid guardian against Vamana that often. I, I, it's usually a bad idea, but we'll see how it turns out. Def, I don't, I don't like going to Mian or Mystical Mail because it extends the duration of his ultimate. Like if Nemean, every time you auto attack or he auto attacks you, he gets hit by a god essentially, so it increases his the duration of the ult. Looking good as always. Mystical Mail, definitely not, because increases ult by so much. Plus we and we have max cooldown, so no breastplate. With this build anyways. Hey, I'm walking here. Hey. I mean Nene's can get here. More Nene's. More Nene's. I want more. I want more nanes. More. Oh, okay. Didn't really work for me. I'll probably go Bancroft for late game. Uh oh. All right. So when his alt runs out, we just turn and burn. I should have saved this under for the wall. Count your blessings. Say hello to my little friend. <gasps> well, then go off. No. Oh, it didn't kill him to the guns. Nay, nay. No. 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 Yes. <laughs> didn't kill him to the guns, but George, George the minions got my back. Well, if multiple minions killed him, would it be George or George's? What do you call the plural of George? A flock of George's. A flock of George's killed Vimana. And I'll take it. All right. Oh wait, we need anti heal. What am I doing? <laughs> we need anti heal. Let's get divine rune. I would love a bank cross, but uh, I'm forgetting the. Co oh, I can upgrade it. I'm forgetting the core item against Vimana. That one kill actually caught him up quite a bit. He's only a level behind now. Insane. He has his haste and katana now. The comeback could potentially be real for him. Romana's once you get the pain train build online, there's no stopping it. Except that I Kuzbo's one of the few characters that can get his his escape up instantly. So I could use my escape and then use my escape again. And probably be okay. Yeah, I don't want to go Thorns against Vamana for the same reason of extending the ultimate. Oh, whoops, that was stupid. Oh, uh, shoot. Should I fight this? I, once, it, once, once it runs out? Push him the minions. Reset cooldowns. Throw Nene. Executed perfectly. There we go, Kuzumbo. Never underestimate a turtle. There was actually a point in time that I had a pet toad. And I named the toad Kuzumbo. I didn't keep him for long though, I let him go. I only had it for a few days before I, uh, I did more research and I was like, you know what? He'll be happier in the garden. So let him go. Back to where I found him. Oh. Yeah, I, uh... My mid guardian's kind of healthy here, but... My, with, since I'm out of mana, this is kind of worrisome. 
down. Yeah, Mid Guardian. Mid Guardian's okay. It gives me a lot of health, which uh, the the Nene's actually scale with how much health Kuzumbo has. So it gives my Nene's a little bit more health, which is kind of neato. Kind of cool. Would that make Ethereal good on Kuzumo? Probably in other game modes. I wouldn't say in duel. Okay, now I can go Toxic Blade to destroy his healing. Or I go Bancroft's, which will probably go Bancroft's. That way we can have some damage. Because we have cooldown, but our damage is kind of kind of going down the toilet as his build comes online. We have a little bit of pen, but when we get Bancroft's Typhoons, that'll give us another 10% pen. And just the damage will be so high, it won't matter. Okay, so here's the plan. Whenever he ults, I should curse Onk, that way he doesn't heal. And right when his ult ends, that's when I should sunder him. Because then for a short amount of time, he'll have 40% increased damage. I always make that mistake of using them both at the same time, but if I don't plan on fighting him, it's kind of a waste of the sunder. And he's already at full health, just wait to curse Onk till the end. Catch up to him. Uh oh. We actually. Okay, I'm glad he blinked out because I ran out of mana. If he just ulted and decided I want to kill Kuzumo, he totally could have. <laughs> I, I would have been in big trouble. Alright, let's get Bancroft's. Uh, we won't have 40% cooldown for a little bit of time. But we only have 30% now. That's okay. That's okay. Bada bing, bada bing, bada boom. I have a video planned for uh, for Mafia Kuzumo. It's going to be really good. I had it planned before when the skin came out, but I just didn't have the time. But now with the buff, it's like, how can I not? How can I not? That's gonna make his ult last forever. You know what? I'm gonna fight you. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid. That's an obscure reference. A very obscure reference. I'd be surprised if anyone gets it. I'll give a hint. My name is James. That's a hint for the reference. It has to do with my name. Oops. It looks like we just straight up win. Hi, YouTube. Uh, maybe. I'm not going to upload it now. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. This is about slaps, dude. This auto's hit pretty hard. GG well played. And yes. I hope you all enjoyed this Kuzumo video. I'm going to show the stats real quick. Um, yeah, so I had to get a game with the, the buff. I've been winning like crazy with Kuzumo. I can't wait till next, when they reset the god leaderboards, I'll probably be able to get number one Kuzumo. I already had a lot of losses before that, before the buff. What a good sport. Bum, ba -da -dum. So loud. Good stuff, here's the stats. Here's the build. And I'm going to rate that server really good because there's no issues. And I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video.